Alrighty, welcome back to Twisted Bros React. Today we've got Whitechapel, obviously, once again, huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, these guys have been around since 2006, came up in the MySpace era of Deathcore. Phil, you've already heard in our video about Unanswered. Mm. Um, obviously, killer vocalist. This is um, newer stuff for Whitechapel. Um, second new album and working in some more cleans here, uh, which Phil does surprisingly well. Um, a lot of people hate on it, but I love it. Yeah, I'm super curious too, because I remember that unanswered one. I don't remember anything clean about that. Without further ado, let's get into it. So this is one of the few metal bands to have a lead guitar and a rhythm guitarist. So they can actually sound like they do an album live. Mm -hmm. And super talented guitarist, he actually has like a guitar school. For sure. Hey, Wow, this is Phil. Yeah, Jesus. Dude can sing sing.
much different than I was expecting, that's for sure. I feel like I didn't get the understanding of the song until like right towards the end there, like after the big break. In my head, like comparing it to Unanswered, because that was one of the only songs I can really compare against with Phil. I felt like this was a lot more like, a story arc or like direction to it. Yeah, it's interesting you say that because this is off The Valley and then um, their newest album, Kin. Um, they sort of like tied into each other as a storyline, um, sort of about Phil's childhood. So yeah, there, it is quite deep. Like even towards the start where it was like the young lady and the old lady, and the young lady had a gun and he was kind of switching between like two vocal styles. Right. Like it was almost like I got like an internal battle kind of like a vibe from it, even without catching the lyrics, which I think is super impressive. And Yeah, I love in the uh, chorus how it sort of starts off uh, with the cleans being like the focus, the little background with like Phil screams and then slowly transitions as like the song gets back to like some heavier stuff. And then also with Phil, he's like more so a fan of like hip hop and then metal even. So there's a few interviews where he sort of like raps the bars he has, like mm. as far as lyrics in some of these songs. Yeah, if you break down the lyrics, like they're super well written. Yeah, no, it definitely seems like a more like mature Phil. Yeah, like, exactly. It's always hard on first listen. Like, I feel like you need a couple listens to get, like, the musicality of it more. Off of first listen, I can tell that it's, like, it's a classic song. Like, there's some substance in it. There's some originality. And it sounded good, too. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out the reaction. Uh, hit us up in the comments if you have any criticism or subscribe. And until next time, peace. Peace.